Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I want to talk about the coronavirus and how it's affecting everyone. Uh, so basically, a lot of people have been getting laid off or they've been like going like, uh, they been t they've been told to work from home or just to take a break or stuff like that. They say that the, there's a record of unemployment in the middle for, for forever. Uh, I think there's over like 1 million as of right now. Uh, the government just passed a stimulus package. So basically what that means is like for you, if you're like your average worker, uh, you're going to get, I think, like between 600 and 1,200 in two to three weeks. And on top of that, you might be eligible for some extra unemployment benefits uh, in the upcoming, in the upcoming weeks. Now I, I made this video because I, I want to, to show you how to fill the unemployment application and how to do all that stuff, where to go, because it's kind of like a like a weird process. Uh, I know it might be temporary, but I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? Uh, also, if you're under H-1B or OP, or OP, well, I don't know OPT, but if you're under H-1B or like a green, green card resident or, um, or TN, you might be also eligible to, to apply for unemployment benefits. So unemployment benefits, what they do, they give you a percentage of your salary. I don't know how much it is to be exact. I think from whatever, between 50 and 80% of your salary for, for some time until you get your your job back. And you need to be to showcase that you do not have a job, uh, not because you were fired, not because you were, uh, you quit. I think it has to be like a major cost. And like if you feel for employment right now in the page, they will even have an option that says why were you laid off or sent home for for the for the meanwhile and there's literally an option that says coronavirus <laughs> so it's kind of funny so first uh i'm gonna i'm gonna recommend this 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 page it's from grow it's basically it's a grow it's from acres grow.acres.com and then slash coronavirus how to file an unemployment claim and it will guide you to everything that I'm saying right now. So a couple things you will need first before you can file for unemployment. You will need your social security number, a driver's license, mailing address, bank account and routing number, uh, a phone number, a name and addresses of all your employees over a certain span, and the employer registration number or federal employer identification number, F-E-I-N. That should be in your W-2. Now, if you're an international, if you are an H-1 or a green card holder, you will need your alien residence number. Uh, if you're a tenant holder or if you have an I-94 in your passport, it's a little sheet that they stamp whenever you cross. Uh, I read in USCIS that the top left number uh, will be the, the number that you will put in the alien resident number. Now, be aware, I'm not a lawyer. This is all things that I've been reading. So uh, if you want to be more in depth, consult a professional, uh, a lawyer, a legal advisor, or call the embassy or whatever uh, agency, you know? So don't take my word for it, okay? I take no responsibility or liability for all this stuff. Now, uh, a couple things. You go to this page. Uh, is the, I don't know if you can see it. Texas uh, Workforce Commission. And basically what you will do, you will go down and there's a section that says unemployment benefits. You click on there. And then you here you can read everything about the unemployment benefits, but we're gonna focus on the login page. So you go to the login page. Uh, I don't know where it is, here. And here you will create an account. I already have my account here. Uh, and you will log in and that will have like that will be like your board and in there you will get your emails you will get like information about your benefits and you will submit all the information you require now a couple things if you are um an international uh, besides that uh, if you lost your job under under uh, opt or tn you have from what i read again this is i'm not taking responsibility for any of this you have a grace period i think it's up to 60 days so call your lawyer, call or do some research and read because you might have to go back 
as soon as you as you get laid off it doesn't matter if it was because of the coronavirus or, or because of x or y reason now even if you go back to your country you might still be entitled to get unemployment benefits because it was not something that you know like you were you did something inappropriate it was just like something outside of everybody's control now all this stuff for me i've been reading in the uscis website all this stuff and just i've been trying to follow the news and like trying to see any updates on immigrations and i call i talked with a couple of lawyers and i asked them a couple questions they were pretty cool uh, yes so you have 60 days but you might still be eligible for employment benefits now if you're if you're laid off and you have that 60 days grace period so you have a couple options to stay in the us one is just wait it off and be hired again by the same company and like that way it will be like well i mean it was just like a regular layoff but you're still working under the visa right now the second option you can get a new employer if you get a new employer within that 60 days uh, you can get an updated um, if you live close to the border you can get an updated uh, TN letter and an updated uh, uh, job offer, and you can take it to the to the border patrol office, and then they will just give you a you new I ninety four. This is only if your if your TN visa is still valid. I'm talking about TN visa or like I don't know about other ones. I'm talking about particular TN visa and OPTs. Uh, now, the other one is. Uh, if you get a new job, you just have to get a new TN visa or a new H1 visa or whatever you are in it. So it's tough, it's a tough time. Don't be don't be scared. Just I mean just relax and call me and like try to solve things. If you have any questions and I can if you feel I can help you, I can refer you to someone or I can like talk to you. You know like, uh, but don't panic. You know uh, everybody's going through a hard time due to this pandemic. You know, in here where we are right now, it's like shut in, like you cannot go out, everything's closed. And apparently there's a couple of good things coming out from the government, so hopefully that will help you. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video helped you. And if you have any questions or if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some like, guys. And uh, we will get to this, okay?